Hi you guys, welcome to a new episode of Food and the Single Guy with me, your very own Amaru. As you can see, I'm not in the video because I didn't feel like putting up the green screen and do all of that fancy schmancy editing that I'm used to doing. Not today. Meanwhile, I'm sure you've seen this beautiful specimen of rat snapper in the picture, which is what I will be cooking in today's video. I've never cooked a rat snapper before, so this is a first for me and I can tell you that it turned out quite good. Now let's get started. First of all, you'll need to cut and scale your fish because you don't want to eat all the gooey fishy stuff. Unless you're a pig and I know you're not. Secondly, you're going to wash the fish with some limes like I'm using here. Or you may also use lemons, sour oranges or even vinegar. We've been doing this for centuries in my culture, so hence. This is to cut the raw fishy scent of the fish because believe me, you don't want to eat fish that smells fishy if you know what I mean. We also do this with certain types of meat, by the way, like chicken. And make sure to give them a good wash like so. Now have the fish sit in a lime bath for about 2-4 to four minutes, no longer because the acidity of the limes can tenderize or even cook the fish. After that, rinse the fish under a running tab and pat them dry with some paper towels like so. After that, season the fish well with some salt, pepper and garlic like so. And these cuts, by the way, are to make sure that the fish will be seasoned properly. Now let's move on to the marinade. Pour some coconut milk into a bowl and add a couple of tablespoons of this red Thai curry paste. Mind you that the red Thai curry paste is quite spicy, so measure the amount of red curry paste depending on your own taste. Now mix well, and if the marinade is too thick, Add some more coconut milk. You should end up with a marinade that looks a little something like this. If the marinade needs some more seasoning, add some salt or a fish stock cube to taste and mix well. Now lay some aluminum foil into an oven dish like this and place your fish in the dish like so. Now pour the marinade on the fish and spread it evenly. Like so. Now take your onion rings and place them on the fish along with your red and green chilies and cover the fish with your foil. And make sure to leave some room in the foil for the steam to escape. There we go. like you're creating a little oven for the fish before it goes into the actual oven. It's going to steam in its own juices. Now bake the fish in a preheated oven for about 45 minutes and depending on the size or the amount of your fish, you may cook it a bit longer or shorter. When you're all done, it should look a little something like this. Sprinkle some scallions on the fish and put it back in the oven for another 5 minutes. Then serve with potatoes or noodles or whatever you like. And I went a little crazy with the scallions there, I know, but boy was it good. Now, I hope you'll try this one, and if you do, drop me a line, why don't you? Thanks for stopping by, and hopefully you'll join me again next time. Bye!